see them eating or they would pretend to eat. Now, oh, there you are. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, look at the my rainbow. Gosh. He's landing. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. That's that's one of them uh, terrigans, man. Hi. Look at that little, it's like an eagle. Can I show you guys? Let's see if you guys can see. Stay put. Oh, there's a rainbow. There's a rainbow. He let us see the rainbow. These are the coolest birds, you guys chicken because we had ran out of food so we were like oh let's just order some chicken from one of the little places over here well it was uh, you know just a baked chicken but the problem is they put a little bit of something on there and so we just felt like crap for the last couple of days and it's seriously just from the sugar and here's the other thing that was bothering us was too much fat so we've been doing uh, a lot of ribs well, ribs are awesome, but the problem with ribs is sometimes the fat ratio is too much. So what you want to do when you're doing your protein is it, well actually when you're doing everything, is 60 um, and 20-20. So it's 60% protein, then 20% fat, and then 20% would be your carbs or sugar, which are the same. But when you're doing ribs, sometimes those are like 50% fat. I mean, there's so more, much fat more, on a rib. More, sometimes it's like more. more fat than the actual no, meat. No, no, sometimes you're just eating yeah, pure you're fat. Yeah, you're just eating pure fat. It's so good though. And we were like, oh, it's so good, but we really started to feel sluggish. And people are always getting on us about like, oh, you guys only eat beef. How, that, how do you do that? But I'm telling you, when we eat anything here, else, here, we feel this. like crap. Here, I'll show you what happened. Yeah, and we put on weight and we just feel poo poo. Okay. So, no one laugh here, okay? I'm doing this. This is for science, you guys. Oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, okay. but look, see the back, what happens is, I get it right here. Make sure you got on that camera. I get it right, I start to notice I get fat right here. Yeah. See, can you guys see that? Here, here, see, normally here. I'm very, very defined, like, I'm defined back. Yeah. I know, I'm, this, is, this is embarrassing, okay? I'm showing you what happened in one week, mm -hmm. and it's a combination of things. It's not a calories in, calories out thing. And, and that's what we're trying, trying to explain to you. It wasn't like, oh, I ate too much food. What we did was we ate a little bit of the wrong food. Right. And then that triggered something in my body which said, hey, stop, stop processing food properly. the way you, yeah, properly and start storing stuff as fat for some mm -hmm. reason. And what we noticed was, how hungry was I after? Oh, he was always hungry. I so got he's hungry, been, hungry, hungry. He's been like nonstop hungry for the last like week. Where it's like, oh, when's when's the next meal? I'm like, I just ate. And so the what garlic. we were eating was was just um, the, in the last week. What we've just been eating was all beef, but we were eating too much fat. But before that, we had eaten some garlic and then the chicken. So we were already kind of in that phase, the sugar phase. Sugar and fat go hand in hand too. Like people will. Uh, crave fat when they crave sugar. It has to do with candida, actually, the candida overgrowth. Yeah, because so, candida I'll, like um, I just wanted, they like fatty things. So I want to mention your fat, but they feed off sugar. That, that I think the thing was is that see with a combination of things. See, once I had a little taste of the sugar in my system, I wasn't even conscious of myself, but my body suddenly started craving more sugar, and then it suddenly said, "Hey, let's get some garlic." And so she started cutting garlic, which garlic has carbohydrates, which carbohydrates is just another word for sugar. It's a, it's, it's a complex sugar, but that's a, it's a, it is a sugar. So and It's not very complex. People have this weird very, idea that it's like, oh, complex sugar is like really, you know, it's rice. I mean, it's not that hard for well, your no, body to just, break down rice. I mean, it, it just, and, and when we say complex and simple, we're talking um, scientific terms. We're not talking like like language terms like you think in terms of complex and simple we're just talking in the terms of basically like we have the sugar and then when it bonds to something else it's a complex because it has more than one bond but people have this idea that but there's it's not like, like complicated well, you're like oh well it's carbs not, are okay because those are complex sugars so no. you can eat a ton of those no. when they're talking sugar they're only talking sugar no when we're talking sugar we're talking all carbs so the reason so we all eat only beef and that's what we're talking about but even we're just getting a little bit of sugar in the last week then we were craving more sugar but with since we don't eat sugar, it turned into craving more fat. Because that's the other thing, like your body will go for And then like what happened? But then what happened, what, what happened to me was, let me share what happened to me. Okay. See, because this, I, I'm the scientific experience here. I'm gonna get, look, okay? You guys, I mean, you guys don't think it's nothing, but look. I mean, you see, when you're when you're lean, you notice this stuff, okay? You guys, you yeah, guys, oh, you're thin. Uh, yes, but no. Because see, even a little bit of fat will affect you. 
and that's what we're trying to get to. And we want you guys to get here too, man, because it feels great. Once you're doing what we're doing, you guys will be like, Pro hey man, I'm a Jedi and I'm proud of it because you'll start to feel good about yourself. Well, and when we when we experience this, we and remember we remember what it feels like to feel like how most people are feeling when they're eating all this. I mean, you just feel you feel very unmotivated. Unmotivated. Like in everything, I was moving so slow. Like I just oh, it was like so much effort to do everything. I all did not want to get off the sleep. couch. Yeah, we've been watching movies. We've been so oh, lazy. Man. That's the other thing, is that we started doing, uh, I started thinking like, huh, man, maybe I should, you know, I, I almost subscribed. We just started watching a lot of like TV shows. And I, Although we did, we did watch The Mandalorian, which I'm so excited Look, about. there are positive yes. things to this. We to watched this the whole, we're caught up, now I gotta wait. There are positive things to, to doing an experiment, you know, when you get fat and things start to happen. And one of them was that we got to watch the whole Mandal Mandalorian. I did not feel like getting off the couch. I would just be like, hey, babe, is it? I'd be literally like. Eating his current meal it, and asking when the next one was. I was saying, when, when, when are we going to And I'm like, one? we only make three meals. So it's like, if you want them that clo close together, uh, what you're going to do? Like, one day we ate like all of them by like three. It was like we had had breakfast, lunch, and dinner by like 3 p.m. I'm like, well, what are we going to do for the rest of the day now? <laughs> we already ate our meals. So. Um, it's starting to rain. All we have to do to change now is cut out the ribs, and then we're back to normal. So that's as simple as it is for us, because that was the only thing that we had done different. Now we're not even doing garlic anymore; we're just doing beef. Oh, so right, we, and that's the big thing. Also, buco is our favorite, which is leg, the leg of the. It's a nice blend of fat and. Yeah, and well, that one's awesome because it also has a bone in it. So the way they cut it here, um, um, in the states they don't do it this way. They actually cut the bones out and then they sell those separate. Here. You can get a Different nice cut with the bone still in it, and then you can cook it with the bone, so then you oh. get the bone marrow. And the other thing that came out good was because it was very important, because I wanted Jedi Joy to learn how to do an indoor smoker cooking the ribs, which is oh. not easy. Which you, I have, we have one it's set It's a three hour of, cook. We have one set of ribs On a gas cooking. stove that doesn't hold. We have one set of ribs that's cooking right now. So she's become a master, that's the other thing. She became really good at cooking yeah. the ribs, so they're really just good. so good, so that was, I was eating a lot of them. Nonstop. <laughs> and and but can you see a couple things? One day of her not doing ribs, me cutting back. You can see her. She's already out here. She she initiated the periscope. Right where I was feeling like crap. I'm not doing the ribs anymore. I said he could have the last one. It's raining, one. guys. I don't but I've been feeling like crap because I was eating the ribs too, and I was like so much fat. And, yeah. And I mean everyone, like when you if you have you've ever had ribs, the fat is the you know the. It almost tastes sweet, so you should right there be like, it's just too much. Like, anything that's sweet, you should question. Like, if it's so sweet and so delicious, because food should just be more like nutritious, not necessarily delicious. Like, I mean, our food is delicious, but it's about the nutrition. You uh, know, it, you I mean? know what? It's like, it's I would say that, hold on. I would say that, that if you handed or a plate of your food over to any <laughs> European <laughs> chef, they would say that it is not delicious, yeah. that it has not been seasoned, that it does not have. Yeah, that is really bland. And this is what we're talking. This was things she brought up yesterday. What okay, we watch all of Gordon Ramsay's season too. We watched a lot of TV this week, yeah. So we got a lot to report on. <laughs> we're like, caught up. We're caught up. Pretty much. So, but the thing that we noticed was is that that cooking shows and chefs, when they are talking about a dish, and they and, and the student brings the food, they don't taste it and say. Oh, you cook this properly. I bet it's very nutritious. Never. Never, never concerned about the nutrition. Never. Never do you even hear like, oh, do we have a good balance of protein? Never. No. Never. All it's, they care is about it is delicious. What? Does it taste good? Is it delicious? That's it. And all you have to do to, and if you look, all you have to do to make it taste good is you take your add sugar. And you take your vegetables or you take your fruit or whatever, and you and you do called a, uh, like they, if you just look at European cooking, I studied I studied culinary. French cooking is basically what everyone eats in restaurants now, and they even do it in fast food. But basically, French cooking is just this. You take a vegetable or a fruit, and you condense it down to the sugar. So it, it's a, you know, they call it a blaze, a blase, or whatever. Yeah. Whatever they want to call it, you know, glaze. And they have all sorts of different names for it. But basically, they make some sort of thing. Caramelize. Caramelize, or a sauce, some sort of sauce. But you're bringing down your fruits and vegetables, get, extracting the sugar, and then pouring that over your protein. Yep. That is the entire methodology. And then you take the protein juice, you extract that, and you pour that over your vegetables that you serve. And that is the way that they do French cooking. And that's what everybody loves. 
has eaten for the last hundred years, but it is not the only way to eat food. And, and we got on that track for a second way. when we first got here I started making like bell peppers and zucchini and I didn't think about that I was cooking them So here's the thing about fruits and veggies for one thing you should have them in very small amounts at, if at all um, because uh, Humans are only supposed to have males. There's only supposed to have 30 grams of sugar a day 36, 36 females 25 and when we say sugars hold sugar on. is all carbs on, don't don't go off the back and say I'm counting the sugars no call, that's marketing carbohydrate bullshit. if it says carbo that's a sugar count it's it a sugar that's what we're saying don't subtract out the fiber either that's that's again marketing if you do I mean okay you can do that if you want to eat a candy bar and get fat but you gotta no, add you all have the carbs. to all your carbs what we're talking about so 36 grams of carbs a day for men and 25 for women. Above that, you start to have issues in your body. Your body can't even process more than that. Did you guys know that? Your body can only process that much sugar in a day. And how much Beyond is that? that tablespoon. Okay, so uh, it's like two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of sugar. But also, it's like one apple. Or one apple. So one apple is two. One apple sometimes has more than even that. What was your saying about the about the? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We were saying. We uh, got a new thing for the apple. You know, the day. apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's like. More like an apple a day keeps the doctor and the dentist paid. It sure does. <laughs> because um, sugar is what destroys your teeth too. That's why we both have very bad teeth because we were sugar addicts. Yeah, we had a lot we of sugar. We ate so much sugar, we were bulimic for many years. And you guys, here's the thing. Most of these chefs, musicians, artists, billionaires. Uh, actors, billionaires. Mark Cuban. Uh, Tony, Tony. Tony. Who just died. Hesaya. Um, However you say his last hash, name. I think they say hash. I think they say hash. From um, Zappos. He was bulimic. He was bulimic. Oh, That's what people don't realize. Anyone. Like no, listen yes. to this. This is great. You guys got Anyone that is a billionaire or millionaire so that they have like enough money to do where you go, okay, what, what do you want to do with your money? Like where you're like, if I had a however much money, you know, they're going to at some point say, I have this much money. I want to experience all foods, correct? Well, the majority of people that are a millionaire or billionaire also need to look good. So you're telling me that no millionaire or billionaire has ever tried bulimia? You're out of your mind if you don't believe that they have. And some people do it in different forms where they over drink and then they throw up. So they'll overeat and over drink and then, oh, the alcohol made me throw up. But they do that every time or they take a drug that they know makes them throw up, like the opiates make them throw up. Uh, we had a girlfriend that she would take opiates to make her vomit to then overeat. So she didn't feel she was blaming it because she wasn't sticking her finger down her throat, but she knew that when she took the drugs, she would vomit. So there's very many forms, but people do bulimia have tried bulimia. So when people think, oh, this celeb is not. Yes, they have. Watch this thing right there. Yes, they have because they have millions of dollars and they want to experience life. So you don't say, oh, they just really watch your diet and have never tried these things. They haven't had their cake and ate it too. Yes, they have so what, had their cake and so, ate it too. And they vomited it up. Okay, so what What the interesting thing what Jay Joy was talking about was that people a common thing for people to do, and Tony Hash was one of them, if you're a binge drinker, you're a partier, or you like to go out, but you're also, you want to look good, often what people will do is they'll go out and they'll drink a lot of alcohol, they'll go to all the happy hours, and what when they're drunk, full of alcohol, they vomit. It be, because they feel better. It, it, and the vomiting they attribute to the alcohol. Mm -hmm. But after years of doing that every week, and what they're slowly doing is creating an eating disorder, yeah called bulimia and and what happens is bulimia is more addictive than cocaine than the than than the uh, alcohol that they're drinking so even when they quit the alcohol or the drugs that they're doing they now have another disease which is more intense than alcohol and she'll tell you all about that right it's and the sugar reason addiction. why we make a big deal about bulimia <coughs> is because bulimia will kill you it kills you slowly you guys, it literally destroys your body from the inside out. And you start to see 
physical signs and that's why we keep calling people bulimic they go how do you because they have physical signs that they're bulimic and some of those signs are very bloated face is one of the real signs of bulimics where um, they'll be thin but their face is just often very bloated um, not always it's like a sometimes occurrence this is especially can you give any examples of celebrities that people might know well, that one has that, one that we were uh, well Ivanka Trump is always a good example for anything bulimic uh, Ariana Grande um, Tony the Tony, uh, however you say his last name. I think I it's Tony Hesh. Hesh. Tony Hesh. Hesh. And describe Tony. He had Tony's a very fat. bloated face and he was a small man. And the reason why I know that he was bulimic is because of his excessiveness with things. Um, that is, I was a bulimic and you always take things to the edge with your drinking, with your partying. Because everything you're doing to try to avoid eating, really. Because a bulimic is constantly worried about food. Your whole... Um, existence is based around food so anything that can take you away from that by like doing um, you know whippets by doing cocaine by um, you know uh, having get, children whatever yeah distraction yeah people some people have children to distract anything to distract to keep themselves busy they go on trips they travel they keep themselves they workaholics anything to distract talk from about the billion eating who on TV billionaires yeah the the shark tank people are all bulimic and um, Mark Cuban, uh, Mark Cuban, uh, Barbara, Car Barbara Cochran, uh, Lori, Lori, Robert Hershevik, Robert all Hershevik bulimics. And Damon. They're Those guys all are bulimic. all addicted to sugar. They're all bulimic. And the way you can tell is for one thing, remember when it used to be like celebs, you would never see them eating or they would pretend to eat. Now, oh, there you are. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, look at the my rainbow. Gosh, he's landing. Hi, baby.